All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. You bring your lover into the house that I got for you, and then he's parading half naked in front of my daughter. Why are you making this a big deal, doll? I mean, he's covering something around his waist. What is he covering? You know, whatever, okay? The most important thing is that he's covering what needs to be covered. And besides, if he's still a child, what does she even know? Huh? I don't want half-naked men parading themselves in front of my daughter. Trisha, whatever it is you're doing, whatever nonsense you want to do, you do it outside and you don't bring it home. Not in the presence of Ife. Well, your daddy said um, you should come and stay at his place. I will get to see at Lisa again. You say what? I, I forbid you. Eh? Efe, I forbid you from saying that name in this house. I forbid you. Eh? Is it okay if I call you mom? Sometimes I wish you're my real mom. Of course, my love. It would be an honor for you to call me mom. And I love you so much. Efe! Huh? Inside. Go upstairs. Pack the things we're leaving. You're leaving? I thought you said I'll be going to school from here. And I'm saying you should go upstairs. Pack your things we're leaving now. This minute! Where did you get this wine from? Uh, you know, from the shop. From the shop. Yeah. I'm going to go fresh milk. Okay, my darling. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I got it from the shop. Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, save me! Mommy! Mommy! Please, if he's dying, please, you need to help. Yeah, if he's always dying anytime she's with you, I'm gonna take that girl away. From <laughs> please, please, do whatever you want to do after. I, 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 I rushed her to the emergency units at the Federal Medical Center. And, 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 and they said they need blood transfusion and her blood doesn't match. And you need to come with me. She's dying. This is my first time. I swear to God. I swear. I swear to God. Who's the biological father of that girl? Okay, you are the father, the father of the child. Do you see father? I found the father. How come I can't donate blood? Now this is a matter of life and death, so you better start talking before the DNA test result does the talking for you. I, 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 I was with Jay before I met you, and I was confused who the father of the baby was when I found that I was pregnant. And it was convenient for me to feed the pregnancy because he, he was, I mean, he's rich. I didn't know that he's not in biological father. If Lucky is not a biological father, Jay raped his own daughter. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! She didn't deserve to die like this. No. She didn't. She was ill-fated from birth. A mother like Trisha, a father like Jay. Marshall is ill fit. God, I miss her so much. So, so much. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this one, baby mama drama. Now, it seems like DNA is becoming a thing that must be implemented into daily lives. But if before we get to why DNA seems to be needed all of a sudden, more and more frequently. I think it has to do with the fact that these days, a lot of people jump right into marriages. Now, when I say this, I mean, you see somebody that may have been in a relationship for like a few years and maybe they really know the person that they're dating very well. But all of a sudden, they just jump into this new relationship and bam, couple of months they're already married you see when you marry somebody that you've just known for a few months there's a chance big chance that they have a life before you and that life could easily involve a relationship when you meet somebody and you choose to marry them that fast what happens is if they had another relationship they'll pause that because they've now seen somebody that now wants to marry them. Maybe the former boyfriend was not ready. Maybe he's still struggling. Maybe whatever the case may be. But the minute that you now come in and propose marriage, there's a big chance that they will have to cut off another relationship in order to proceed with the marriage. 
Now, this cutting off is where the problem starts. Because in most cases, they still have feelings for that person. It's just that that person is not ready for marriage. So, yes, they will still be talking to them while you that came and proposed marriage, they are now by your side. But the truth is, they're still talking to the other person. That's why when they're talking about this DNA thing, it seems like it's always, or in most cases, the first child that everybody is pushed on it. Because that first child, usually, they are still dating the other person at that time. Now, of course, we know this is not always the case. Of course, we know there's, you know, exceptions to this, you know. Uh, there's many people that would once they start the new relationship they cut off the old one and that's it nothing else but there's a lot more people that keep that relationship going to some extent it might no longer be serious but the guy somehow still has a pull on her this pull no matter how small is enough to lure her to bed in most cases so hence how we end up with this pregnancy that we are no longer sure who is the father if he's the real husband or if he's the wannabe husband that never was i think the best solution to this is making dna is mandatory if we can find a way to make dna testing more affordable it's gonna make this and make it almost mandatory just like finding out the sex of a baby you know many people choose not to but a lot more people want to want to prepare and know what they're going to be having so they are prepared in advance so it's just same and similar with this um and i really think that it's necessary that people start doing dna's uh, because it alleviates this whole pain do you know how painful it is to raise a child for like years maybe 16 years 17 years only to find out on their 18th birthday that you are not the father it hurts so definitely is a good idea to make sure that whoever you keep in touch with whoever that you used to date in a relationship before you got married that you cancel and kill all the ties kill it because it's never going to lead you to anything good you know just the hangouts just lunch just this just that it's gonna always backfire so it's a better idea that you keep out of touch from the person, keep out of sight, and enjoy your marriage. Because, you know, these things are meant to be enjoyed. So that's about it on this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios, and as always, I'm here to deliver.